So this is the mod showcase for the drop radar and as you can see there's a little blue bar on my drop radar. If I move toward this, this is a mine material. So it shows directionally where a particular category of drop is located at. You can see I got a uh, red drop right there. So if I keep moving my character toward it, there's the red drop right there. I got a Halloween cookie. And uh, we can see there's another mine material right there. That blue, thick blue uh, bar right there. But the uh, top. The drop radar is something you can add to the uh, uh, PSO Lua add-ons or Blue Burst. Um, you can see I pulled down the menu. There's, I have a lot of add-ons currently installed. Um, that should give you an idea of what it looks like. Some other add-ons along on the screen, the chat history and the, the floor reader. Here's you guys, all the different items on the, on the ground. The Pro only problem with the floor reader is it doesn't tell you where the items are. It just shows you that they are on the same floor as you are. You can see this uh, orange or yellow looking bar. There's another material. We got an evade mat. And there's something over here. So let's say I'm uh, interested in an escape doll. So I know because I configured it in advance, but it's going to be orange kind of color. It's this short, kind of stumpy, thicker line. There we go. And, uh, but you can adjust the size of the various lines and the color. Um, the only downside is that it's kind of poorly optimized in terms of CPU resources. Um, make these little bars happen. So, your mileage may vary with adding additional colors. If you see your frames dipping, you might need to lower the amount of colors that you add. I'm uh, making use of the of a histogram object, which is basically like a lots of all these little bars, like a bar graph. Um, I'm using that to give an indication of where the objects are in 3, 3D space. Um, so it's not exactly optimized for what I'm, my use case is, but it works well enough with, uh, on decent hardware, I'm not, not anything crazy, but on decent hardware, it works well enough where you can add a number of colors and it's fine. You didn't want to see certain objects, categories of objects, like you didn't want to be able to see monomates and that kind of thing, you just move the configuration all the way to zero and it won't show up anymore. 
All right, you see I got that yellow bar. That's the defense, Matt. There you go. Pick it up. All right, so the last thing, as you can see, I'm moving to, on the green. My player color on the mini-map at the top right is green. You can see there's a dot here, and that represents a mono grinder in my current uh, configuration. That is not part of the radar. It's actually built into a Fenia called mathitem.txt, and you would edit that file, and you can get these little dots um, and different 
different items will you can colorize different items um, so that is also available to you if you didn't want to install the um, add-on or if you don't have the Lua add-on that's also another option you can use a mini map to navigate to where different drops are uh, by default it doesn't include a lot of drops just kind of like rares and that and photon drops and that kind of thing um, but as you can see I added mono grinder to be as part of that you can add it uh, or uncomment the line um, for yourself if you wanted to show minor grinders on the mini map for example that's another way that you can uh, see in uh, in the game where the items are located if you go on the Athena wiki uh, and type in the search there map item.txt uh, you'll get some directions on how to install that all right so that's the showcase for the um, prop radar add-on go ahead and get it in github <laughs>